Good morning, my friends. It is May 20th, day 12 of Be Formed. And we're going to be reading paragraphs 26, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So four paragraphs. Just a reminder, Jesus is teaching us how to pray. And uh, um, it's in that section. So let's pay attention to how Jesus prays and how he's teaching us on this way. Paragraph 26, 10. Just as Jesus prays to the Father and gives thanks before receiving his gifts, so he teaches us filial boldness. Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you receive it and you will. Such is the power of prayer and of faith that does not doubt. All things are possible to him who believes. Jesus is as saddened by the lack of faith of his own neighbors and the little faith of his own disciples as he is struck with admiration at the great faith of the Roman centurion and the Canaanite woman. 2611. The prayer of faith consists not only in saying, Lord, Lord, but in disposing the heart to do the will of the Father. Jesus calls his disciples to bring into their prayer this concern for cooperating with the divine plan. 2612. In Jesus, the kingdom of God is at hand. He calls his hearers to conversion and faith, but also to watchfulness. In prayer, the, disciples, the disciple keeps watch, attentive to him who is and him who comes, in memory of his first coming in the lowliness of the flesh, and in the hope of his second coming in glory. In communion with their master, the disciple's prayer is a battle. Only by keeping watch in prayer can one avoid falling into temptation. And 2613, three principal parables on prayer are transmitted to us by St. Luke. The first, the importunate friend invites us to urgent prayer. Knock, and it will be open to you. To the one who prays like this, the Heavenly Father will give whatever he needs, and above all, the Holy Spirit who contains all gifts. The second, the importunate widow is centered on one of the qualities of prayer. It is necessary to pray always without ceasing and with the patience of faith. And yet when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? And the third parable, the Pharisee and the tax collector concerns the humility of the heart that prays. God be merciful to me, a sinner. The church continues to make this prayer its own. Kyrie eleison. So what do we hear in these paragraphs? So the first thing is um, Jesus prays to the Father and gives thanks before receiving his gifts. So one of the great ways of praying is to begin by thanking God for your blessings. And so one of the ways I like to pray is, Father, we thank you and we praise you for this day. So it just opens our hearts to realize that all is a gift from God. And he teaches us filial boldness, this, you know, just childlike trust that I remember learning how to swim. And, you know, when I jumped into the pool, I knew that my dad would catch me. He wouldn't let me drown. And that's that sense of just trusting that God, you know, I know that you're with me and I trust that you will answer my prayers. Um, that's why you can say whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive it and you will. Again, it's not, a, it's not a gumball machine where you put in your quarter and you get a gumball. Um, it, the ultimate prayer, as we know, is not my will, but yours be done. So the importance of faith uh, and how Jesus is saddened. Oh, you of little faith. But when he meets people who have faith, like the, the Roman centurion uh, whose um, child was sick and the Canaanite woman, you know, his heart is moved by their faith and people are healed. Then it says prayer of faith consists not only in saying, Lord, Lord, it's not just, you know, saying the words, but it's, it's our hearts, disposing our heart to do the will of the Father. Again, I'm going to say it again because it's critical. Prayer is not to change God's mind, but it's to dispose our heart, to align the will of our, our own hearts with the will of God. Um, 26.12 talks about the, the watchfulness. So 
God calls us to conversion and faith, but also to watchfulness, to be attentive to, and that's why we have these journals. Um, we're not asking you to write books here, uh, but maybe just pay attention to, as you're reading the scriptures or as you're going through the catechism, what strikes you, what jumps out at you. And writing things down will help you, you know, to, to remember and to be, pay attention to whatever God has in store for us. And then 2613, the three parables of the uh, um, knock, and it will be open to you. Uh, the second one is the widow who prays and, you know, is perseverance and patience. And the third is the Pharisee and tax collector, the tax collector praying in, in humility. So what do we learn by this? Um, so the first one is that, that prayer of faith, you know, knocking on God's door. So God wants us to be specific in prayer. It's okay to ask for things. Um, so a great prayer could be, you know, God, I thank you and praise you for this day, all the gifts. Gosh, I, I really want this to happen, whatever this is. Uh, and then, but your will be done. It's a great way of praying because God says, seek, ask, and knock, but ultimately I surrender my will to yours. It's also important to be persistent and patient. You know, the widow, she was persistent. She kept going back. Um, but also, again, Lord, your will, your timing, you know, this is what I'd love to see happen, but not my will, but yours be done. And then finally, the humility, uh, be merciful to me, a sinner of the tax collector. Humility opens our hearts to uh, whatever uh, God wants to give us and, and how he wants to answer our prayers. And that that seeking forgiveness of the, the tax collector is so important. At the beginning of Mass, you know, we have people who show up late for Mass, but you're missing a, a key part of this. Uh, a key part of the Mass is opening our hearts in humility for forgiveness, which allows us then to be open to more of God's grace um, and pr prepare our hearts to hear the Word of God and to receive the Eucharist. Also, we have unbound prayer in the diocese that uh, one of the keys to being freed up is, is forgiveness. So with that, let's look at our, for our readings today. We have uh, several teachings from the Lord from Matthew 5, 6, and 7. I'm just going to read uh, one of these from Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 5, 23 to 25. If you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift at the altar, go first to be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Lose no time. Settle with your opponent while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent may hand you over to the judge, who will hand you over to the guard, who will throw you into prison. I think I read one one uh, line too long, but that's okay. The key here is getting into scripture, opening your Bibles, uh, spending time in prayer, and uh, paying attention, that attentiveness of our hearts. God, what are you speaking to me? Here, God is speaking to us about the importance of reconciling before we come to God. It's that forgiveness, giving forgiveness, asking for forgiveness, that is one of the keys to, to prayer. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day, this opportunity to gather together and be formed. We thank you for our small group leaders, our, our accountability partners, the people in our small group, uh, for Katie and Rick and Leslie who do so much behind the scenes. We just ask you to teach us how to pray, Lord. Help us to grow in humility, patience, perseverance, and gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, do what you can. Uh, I was telling my group last night, if all you can do is show up at your group meeting weekly, awesome. You're going to learn something there. If you can listen to these videos, great. If you can do the journaling, do what you can do. Stretch yourself, uh, but don't feel overwhelmed. Um, again, I told my group, if all you can do is show up at the team meeting, that is going to be amazing. Have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow.